What's going on, TW fans? Thomas here, bringing you another episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. September is here. That means there's still a lot of summer left in most parts of the country, but the kids are starting to go back to school. We got a little bit of fall in the brain. Maybe some of your lakes are starting to get a little less traffic, so you're getting a little bit more freedom to fish. But regardless, fall is not too far away. That means that hot fall bite is not too far away. So if you're thinking about it, now is time to load up on your favorite fishing tools for fall. Fortunately, we got a lot of cool stuff for us to check out today, so let's jump right in. We got a new rod series from ARC. This is the ARC Viper Classic Series. So we have both casting and spinning. They're made on a Japanese high-grade Torre uh, High Modulus carbon fiber blank. So that's gonna give you a light, nice performance blank with a responsive tip. So it's gonna cover a lot of different techniques and we have multiple different models in there to fit any of your needs. Along this blank here, we do have a nice black coated guide train with zirconium inserts. So you get nice, comfortable, quiet casting feel, accurate casts out of there. And as we transition down towards the, the butt of the rod, we have that high density EVA grips and even some EVA on that locking nut up top. So you're just gonna get a good grip as you secure your favorite casting reel on there. So lightweight, sensitive, gonna cover a lot of different techniques. Best part, just over a hundred bucks. So you're able to load up on these things, cover everything you got. All right, now let's take a look at some baits that we're gonna fish with these guys. First up we have from Attic. We got Attic Annie wake bait. This is the 175 wake bait. Pretty cool high end premium wake bait. So this is handmade by some great bait makers in Japan. And you can really tell there's a lot of great quality in there. It's a airbrushed, hand airbrushed bait. So it's got really nice detailed looks to it. Got that checkered scale pattern on top. As we transition up to the front, we have those molded gill rakers, 3D eyes, just a lot of great detail into it. So we have a single jointed body with this free swinging tail. This is gonna be great for fishing it really, really slow. Absolutely, you can burn it by some stick ups and some dock pilings, things like that. But generally, you're gonna wanna fish this slow, maybe some over submerged grass and other cover. That's where this thing's gonna really shine. Up front, we have a durable polycarbonate bill, so it's gonna last for a long time and give you that great wandering action on top of the water. And again, that free swinging tail is just gonna add another clacking noise, acoustic layer to it, really calling fish from a long way off and from every direction. Premium components on it, all stainless steel hardware, sticky sharp hooks, right out of the package. This thing's ready to go, an awesome new wake bait. All right, sticking at the top of the surface here, we got a new one from Hedden. We got the Head and Spook Boyo Topwater Walking Bait. Everybody knows the Spook Bait. It's been around for as long as I can remember, before I started fishing, I'm sure. And this thing is just responsible for high numbers of fish, high quality fish. It's a killer topwater bait. So now we got a new size. This Boyo brings a three inch downsized version for you. So if maybe your bass are keying in on some smaller forage or you're fishing some smaller water rays, some ponds, some creeks, that's where this thing's really gonna shine. But don't let that small size fool you. It's still gonna bring in those big bass. You have a deep single rattle on this one. And even though it's only three inches, it's actually still pretty heavy. So it's gonna stay in the water if you're aggressively walking it. It's not gonna jump out of the water. You're still gonna get that correct walking action and you can even cast this. While, yeah, most people are gonna throw it on some spinning gear, that heavier weight will let you get away with throwing it in on a casting outfit if you prefer. So a hot new top water bait from Head and new size. All right, let's go a little bit under the surface here. Another hard bait. This one is Black Label in Cliff Pace. The Black Label Cliff Pace Head Hunter Square Bill. This one's a premium square bill. So if you're looking for that high end crankbait that you wanna to add to your arsenal, this is the one you wanna check out. So the Head Hunter, just like all the other baits that he makes, the balsa baits, they're made with the same 45 step intensive process. So from beginning to that last clear coat, this thing is just high quality. The finish on it itself, Incredible. I mean, I love the sparkle in this thing. The colorways on it are great. It has multiple different colors to choose from. Got another durable polycarbonate bill up front. So not only is it gonna give you that durability, but it's also gonna give you that nice hunting action. So really, really nice square build. Good for terrorizing those bass in shallow water. If you're dealing with some shallow cut cover, either bumping it into boulders, ripping it through grass, brush, anything like that. That's where this guy is gonna shine. It's got nice premium component. It seems like all the hard baits we're gonna look at today, great hooks, that's what's nice. I mean, I, I like seeing these bait makers coming out with quality hardware right out of the get-go. Great hooks on this one, stainless steel hardware to keep them running smooth and strong for a long time. So just a nice square bill. That's the black label, Cliff Place, Cliff Pace Head Hunter Square Bill. All right, now let's look at another couple hard baits here from Biospawn. Biospawn Rattlebait Lipless Crankbaits. We have our Baitfish series and the Crawfish series here. 
I like lipless crankbaits a lot, and you should too. They cover every section of the water column, whether you're keeping your rod tip real high, just about waking this thing under the surface, or if you're ripping them through grass or a steady retrieve just over grass, yo-yoing them, of course that's a popular technique, or even in the winter time, if you wanna let these things hit the ground and hop them like a jig. Lipless baits are great, they can do a lot. There's a lot of lipless baits on the market, so it's kind of hard to differentiate yourself from them. I think Biospawn did a good job here. So you can see, we'll start with the uh, bait fish series here. Right off the bat, you can see this one's a little bit different than the other baits on the market. It's got all these body indentations, different molds on there. So it's not just your standard flat-sided profile. So that's gonna do a couple of things. One, give something that the fish haven't seen before. So if they've seen a bunch of other lipless swim by them, this one's gonna be a little bit different. But two, it's gonna cast some shadows at a different depth or dimensionality to your bait. So it's just something new and unique that they haven't seen. With the bait fish series, you're gonna get multiple internal BBs for a high pitched sound to it, to kind of imitate a, a bait fish feeding frenzy there. You have the eyes up front and some great bait fish colorways. So that's gonna be a cool bait fish imitator. Conversely, we have their craw series, another one I really like here. So similar, we have a few different molding, you know, you can see the, the ribbing on the bottom here, give it a little more of an anatomically correct approach, but also you have that same, you know, those indentations in the molding. So it's gonna ca cast those shadows, give it that depth, a different look than the, the bass have seen. With the craw series, you'll see the eyes are moved to the back and you're gonna have more crawfish uh, colorways on there, of course, and we have a deep single BB rattle sound. So just a little bit different of an approach. So whether you want those craw patterns or those bait fish patterns, you know, you can't beat them. What I do like about these a lot is I used to just let them free fall. They're gonna drift nose down. So those wintertime presentations that I was talking about where you're fishing them on the bottom, almost like a jig, you let it hit the bottom and bounce up. With that nose down fall, it's just gonna keep it from hanging up a little bit, which will help. And some anglers even like removing that uh, front hook and adding, I don't know, a blade or something like that if they wanna dress it up. And it just works real well to keep it from hanging up. So a couple new ones from Biospawn. All right, that's gonna cover all the hard baits. Now let's take a look at some cool new soft plastics we got. First up, we have a new one from VNM. This is the VNM RC Craw. There's a lot of flipping baits out on the market, just like this one here, but I think this one does a pretty good job of setting itself ahead of the pack with some key features. I like this bait because it is gonna be a year around bait. It's gonna be kind of one thing that you can do everything with. Sure, you can rig it by itself, Texas rig, Carolina rig, on your favorite flipping or punching setup, but you could also use this as a jig trailer, a swim jig trailer. The possibilities are endless on this one. So you can see up front, if you wanna leave it in its standard configuration. Up front here, we have these top arms that are gonna add some crazy twirling action up front. We have these perforations or indentations along the body that are gonna catch, hold water and air to give some bubble trail to it. And then aggressive ribbing throughout. And on the bottom, we have some antennae and these flapping craws. So you're gonna get some great independent flapping action on there, which is nice. It doesn't end there though. This thing is designed to be customized. So say you wanna streamline your profile a little bit. These arms, pop them off, they're meant to be removed. These perforations, they aren't just gonna grab and catch and hold water, they're actually kind of used so you can remove those sidings. So if you wanna downsize your profile, you can either go with this big bulky standard option or peel those off and you get more of a streamlined profile. So it's just gonna be a good all around, all year bait that you can use with a lot of different things, which I like. So you kind of get one pack with a bunch of different baits in it. So pretty new one, or a pretty cool new one from VNM. All right. Let's take a look at one that swims now. We got a new one from Depths. This is the Depths Frilled Shad Swim Bait. I like this thing a lot. So it obviously has a pretty realistic appearance to it. We have that fork tail that stands vertically, that nice bait fish profiling, the checkered scaling patterns on top. We have some 3D eyes up front, so you got a nice realistic profile to it. So if you fish a lot of clear water fisheries, we have a lot of clear water out where I am here, or just highly pressured fisheries, which this day and age seems like every fishery is highly pressured. This is a good one. New, unique offering that a lot of fish haven't seen, but I like that realistic profile. Now, obviously, we can see up front this lip. Not as realistic, but this thing adds a huge dose of awesome action to it. So whether you're rigging this thing weightless or maybe on a lightweight ball head, it is meant to be fished a little bit higher in the water column, so you'd wanna keep that ball head lightweight. But what that lip does is it's gonna give it that shimmy, rolling, action, like a really nice natural bait fish swimming action. Kind of think of a scrounger head, but you have this soft bill on there rather than more of the somewhat rigid scrounger uh, jig head up front. So just a cool new look with great action. You've got to check out some of the underwater footage that we have. It's got some great action to it. So I'm pretty excited about this one for some of those pressured fisheries. I think it's going to bring in a lot of fish where other baits may come up short. 
All right, we got a couple more soft plastics to look at this time from Z-Man. We are gonna start out with the Z-Man Turbo Fatties Worm. So built off of the original Fatties Worm, First up, the first thing I noticed on this one is that bulky profile. That's gonna do a couple key things for us, a couple things to get me excited. One, that bulky profile is absolutely gonna capitalize on some of those bigger bites. If you're looking for a kicker fish or just want that big fish, that big bite, that big profile is gonna get you there. Another thing that's gonna do is it's gonna make it easy to cast weightless. You're gonna be able to sail this thing a long way with no weight on it with that big bulky profile that's adding a little bit of weight to it. So you can see we got some ribbing down the side here. Where it differentiates from the original worms is we have this curved paddle tail at the bottom. That's gonna give it heavy thumping, hard kicking action. Whether you're slow rolling this thing on the bottom, you're burning it along the surface, you're ripping it through gas, grass, you just pause and it's falling. That tail is gonna kick really, really hard and consistently. So any speed, it's gonna be awesome. Moving, wiggling for you, calling in those big bass. You also have some dimpling on the tail and on the ridge line of the tail itself. Just a little bit of a textural feel for the bass and just another thing to grab water, disturb water, call them in. So I really do like this one for ripping through grass or maybe just over grass, but it's a cool new worm. And another great thing about it, made of Z-Man's Elaztec. So this thing is built to hand up, handle like all kinds of aggressive strikes. It's not gonna rip, it's not gonna tear, it's not gonna fall apart on you. You're gonna get a lot more fish per bait. So you're gonna spend less time rigging and less money out of your wallet. We like that. You're able to buy more tackle. All right, so that's a cool new one from Z-Man. Another one from Z-Man. We got their new Helicross. Helicross, I'm assuming they're giving a nod to the Northern California anglers there, anglers there with that uh, hella word to it. But uh, we got a cool profile on this one, that ni nice crawfish profile. I like a lot of this body a lot for a couple of reasons. One, yeah, it's got a nice profile that comes down to those antennas up front, but also has a couple of these channels. On the backside, you have a channel that runs the entire body. So that's gonna be good when that fish you know, bites down and collapses this bait on your hook. It's gonna get down there farther. You're gonna get a more positive hook set. And then we almost, almost have like a spear tip channel up front. And that's just gonna be good for hiding your hook point. So if you're looking for a really weedless presentation, you're gonna be running this thing through some weeds, some grass, some brush. It's gonna hang up a lot less thanks to that channel that hides your hook point. So that's nice. In addition to the body profile down here, we have those flapping uh, claws which come attached, but you can separate them for more independent action, a little bit more of that aggressive fluttering action. And this thing can be used endless ways. I believe they originally designed it to be used as a swim jig or a flipping bait, but on a shaky head, standalone Texas rig, Carolina rig, on the back of your favorite jig, possibilities are endless. I mean, heck, you could even drop shot this thing if you want to. So there's a lot you can do with it. It's just a great uh, craw from Z-Man. And again, that same Elaztec construction, it's gonna stand up to a lot of fish. Keep some of that money in your pocket. All right, that's gonna cover the tackle for today. Let's take a look at some new lines. We got a couple new ones from Vicious. First up, we have the Vicious Tora Fluorocarbon. When I think about this one, I kind of look at it like a hybrid line. Yes, it's a 100% Japanese fluorocarbon, but it kind of has some monofilament properties to it. It's gonna cast really well. It's nice, soft, supple, so you get that extra castability to it. Also, it has a little bit of stretch. So maybe you're looking for a crankbait that you want to dive deep with that fluorocarbon sinking property, but you want that shock absorption, that stretch to it. This would be a good one to go with. You're still gonna get some of the favorite qualities that we have from fluorocarbon. It's gonna be super invisible. Uh, it's gonna be really sensitive, but you are getting a few benefits from monofilament. So I kind of look at it like a hybrid line, even though it is a 100% fluorocarbon. So a cool one, the Tora fluorocarbon. Next one, much more of a traditional fluorocarbon. This is their crystal clear fluoro. This is gonna have all of your standard benefits to fluorocarbon. Low stretch, which means maximum sensitivity. Any finicky light bites, you're gonna feel them. Every transition in your lake, you're gonna feel it. So if you're going from sand to pebble to chunk rock, you're gonna feel each and every one of those transitions. Again, crystal clear, invisible underwater. So finicky fish, shy fish, you're gonna be able to approach them with ease on this one. They're not gonna see the line. Still gonna get high tensile strength, high knot strength, so it's not gonna break. When you do have that trophy on the line, the last thing you need is your knot to break your line to fail, not gonna happen, happen with this stuff. And possibly, I mean, maybe it's not a huge deal to some anglers, but I really like this feature to it. It's level wound. So you're getting a nice quality product right out of the box. So just a couple of new, both 100% premium Japanese fluorocarbons that do a couple of different things. So kind of some new options. All right, got a rod, got some baits, some line. Let's look at some apparel. 
Got a new one from Costa. This is the Costa Echo short sleeve t-shirt. It's cotton poly blend, it's lightweight, it's still breathable with that poly uh, blend to it, but you get that nice comfortable soft feel from the cotton and some great looks as well. We got graphics on the front, graphics on the back. So it's just a nice, comfortable look. I know it's still summertime, so you need those t-shirts. And like I said, kids are starting to go back to school. If you're looking for some clothing options for them, definitely check out these and all the other new apparel products that we have on our website. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. As always, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to check out these products and more on our website using the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to let us know in the comments below which one of these baits you're most pumped to use this fall. See you next week.